something that, of course, we we just simply <coughs> don't participate in. That. that is being reciprocal. If I do you good, you do me good. If I do you bad, I don't, don't mess with you anymore. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. Reciprocity should be the basis of every form of relationship we have with any other people, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Uh, and that should be the basis on, upon which we we uh, uh, live and work and our uh, relations with other people. Mm -hmm. In other words, we support only those who support us. Right. Right. Reciprocity and self-sufficiency for us means working to produce outcomes that will bring about the greatest good for the greatest number. A promotion of both individual and group ownership and control of businesses, small and large, and the creation of the climate that necessitates mutual exchange and support by those businesses that operate throughout our, our, the African world community. So one of the first things we got to do is make sure that we take over the economic livelihood in our community. We don't own anything. Right. We, every clothes, all the clothing we wear is made by somebody other than us. This is an African government, uh, but the rest of it is made in China and Thailand. <laughs> At least I started. <laughs> but those are just basic things. The very food we eat. Everything. Well, we control nothing in our community. So we've got to be economically sufficient and we got to have control of our community. Which means then we got to have ownership and control of all our business. Promotion of black, small, and large business. Cooperatives. Now, we ever thought about putting together cooperatives? We used to have a few cooperatives. Food cooperatives. But what happened? After the 1990s, I don't know of any churches that have co -op, food co ops. We used to have all kinds of food co-ops. Right? They, they come, they come. Jeremy. They gotta come back. They come, they come. Okay? Not only food co-ops, but all other banking co-ops. Yes. All yes. we need that because that keeps the money circulating. That's right. In our That's right. That's right. right. We gotta have a an economic empowerment trade policy. Yeah. Everybody has a policy toward everybody else but us. And by policy I mean a an absolute pledge on the part of each one of us individually and as a group that we will trade with each other. Let me just uh, uh, suggest to you that every group in America has about four or five things that they absolutely will not violate. We're the only people that do not have that. Right? In other words, <laughs> in other words, Everybody says, I will protect my own community, mm -hmm. I will trade with my other mm -hmm. my people, mm -hmm. etc., etc. And they won't violate that. And there are some ethnic groups who are on every side of everything. I'm not going to name the group, but you know. They're on the right, they're on the left, they're on the center, they're in the back, they're in the front, they're everywhere. But they still has as their primary function to protect the interests of the group they represent. But we join the other group and we go totally over to the other group. Isn't that something? It is. I didn't know I'm a conservative. What do you mean a conservative? You know what John Johnson once told me, John Johnson, publisher of Ebony and Jack, he said, Bob, if you are conservative, you must have something to conserve. <laughs> He said, I got some. <laughs> but a conservative, and, and, and I asked the question of my students, and I said, what do we have to conserve? Poverty? Racism? So how does a black person say he is a political conservative? Now please understand, there's a difference between political conservatism and the values and conservatism of our tradition. Right? Because your grandmother and my grandmother never believed in abortion. No. Right? No. They believed in protecting the family. That's right. right? That's what now what the right wing has done is taken those basic African values and wrapped them up in a political blanket and we now buy into it. Right. 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 Right.
We have to understand. We have to make sure that we understand the difference. We have to talk about community hiring. We should demand that all business, black or white, have to hire black people. That's right. That's right. I, That's right. If I go into a store and I eat, if it's owned by an African American and they have nothing but other than black people working, I turn around and walk out. Because I don't think there's an excuse on the part of our business people to hire people other than us. Contribute to and support black organizations and institutions. We should have a, a pledge that we should give, even if it's only a dollar uh, a month or something, to every organization that we like. Because our organizations are dying. Because they don't have the money. They don't have the resources. Community investment. We must invest in our community. 